according to DevTools, the highest priority, highest impact improvement I could make in the loading of my page is to optimize my images. Obviously, uh, my page speed tab has it in red over here. And when I click on it, it's just give me an idea on how much I could actually stand to reduce these images. Um, well, to do this, there's, there's a number of tools out there available. Uh, probably the first one uh, known is Photoshop, right? Photoshop has a save for web option, which is good. We'll use that as well. But um, I have all of these images over here. I mean, I have over 100 images, and I'm just looking to... I'm not looking to do anything more than just optimize these things uh, in bulk. So I want to do it quick and I want to do it in batch. And how am I going to do that? Well, for starters, uh, I need a program to do that. And uh, the price point that I'm looking for is free. So uh, those are my two, my, uh, those are my requirements. Optimize my photos, do it in batch, and give it to me for free. Uh, Fortunately, a cheapskate like me has plenty of options out there on the internet. Um, the best option for the Mac that I have found, and many a wiser uh, people have recommended, is ImageOptum. And now ImageOptum is, uh, well, it covers all those requirements that I have, you know, free. And uh, free in batch. So I've downloaded this, and I have it right here. Um, very plain Jane. Uh, I'll install this update. Pardon me while this is happening. Um, very plain over here. And all, I, all you have to do with this guy is drag and drop the, your files on there. Now, if you're on Windows, although I don't have a direct experience with it, I sort of uh, asked some friends and saw what was going on. Uh, compared it to image optim and file optimizer seems to be uh, the same product same features and uh, there you go probably not you know maybe not as uh, nice an interface but I guess there's some skins for it or whatever I haven't used it personally but I have heard great things and from the workflow that that I saw is similar to image optim so it translates really easy um, First to note is that image optim as file optimizer, if you go, you could check out its preferences and it's going to sort of tell you all the, the different options that it has for you. Um, I, I didn't do anything, right? I just left everything at the default, which is, you know, unless you have a specific use case, they're fine. So uh, let's see, let's actually put it to the test. So uh, according to page speed over here, we can shave off uh, at least 13% reduction in our total file size. So let's see. Here was my project before. I'm going to make a complete duplicate of it. I would say that I was calling this Notflix UI. Well, I'm going to do, uh, this is going to be my backup. I'm going to always, I'm not going to be messing with this guy. I'm just going to be using it for comparison. And this is going to be not flex UX. Okay, and you know what? Since I capitalized one, I'm sort of into it. <laughs> um, here, let me even put a little tag on it in case I get silly. So the Not Flix UI folder with the images right here, I'm just going to take a peek. 8.1 megabytes. Okay, so let's see what Image Optum can do for us in that regard. Uh, I'm going to, so remember, this is my UX folder, and this guy was 8.1. When I take all of these, first I start off with these. Dracula Untold may need a little more work over here, and um, I'll do that as well. I'll probably do that. Hmm. I, I like free. I, I, I'm reluctant to open it up in Photoshop because... Um, I just don't want to make you buy Photoshop in order to do this solution. Um, but Photoshop is definitely the winner um, in that regard as far as compressing it. Look at this. Image Optum is, look at this, shaving these file sizes down. That's pretty nice. It's still working on Dracula. Obviously, these green check marks are uh, saying that they're all done. Um, actually, let's just sort these out. Wow, look at this. 32% on one of these guys. Um, saved 1.1 megabytes out of 5.4. 19%. 
that's up to 32 yeah 32.5 over there um, that's actually better than than um, page speed even said it would um, there you go Dracula was done so huh let's do a little comparison now so we have the UI over here and this is the unoptimized one 8.1 and now we do this guy at seven megabytes okay and um, here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take Dracula just out of here um, I'll just pop Dracula in here what can we do to Dracula you know if you're on the Mac um, or you know on a PC you have preview you could actually set the uh, no I'm sorry you have preview on the on the Mac and I think you still have paint or um, image viewer on the PC uh, we want to reduce this because this bad boy is still pretty he's still 1.3 megabytes which is pretty large we can't, I don't want to change the dimensions right because we said that our dimensions are maxed out at 1366 um, we know that on purpose so we don't want to go any smaller but what can we do um, we could potentially let's go uh, export and see what options we have ping over here I wonder JPEG JPEGs allows us to adjust it um, they're not, you know, if we change it to a JPEG, remember, we're going to have to change our HTML to say JPEG. Um, out of curiosity, what, it's 9.4. Let's see what it's going to do to our file. So here is the ping, and here I'm going to add a JPEG extension to it, JPG. And let's see, did it kill it? No, I don't see any difference. I mean, uh, I don't see any difference at all. I don't know if it could, if this actually translates through the video. Um, eh, I, I don't even know. Actually, I'd say, you know, I'm, now I'm just eyeballing it so close. Uh, actually, I'm looking at the E to E over here to see it. I mean, I'm really nitpicking. Maybe, maybe there's a difference. I don't see it. Uh, maybe I need glasses, but... Um, uh, I think that now let's compare the file sizes of these two guys. Okay, 1.3 to 5 uh, 4 to 954. That's good. I wonder if we can even bring it down a little bit more. So I'm not going to optimize the. Well, actually, let's see if Image Optim can do anything to this guy for us. And that saved us what? 8.4 okay all right I mean that's that's fine let's try let's go one step further let's see if when we go export um, and we do JPEG if we could bring it down even further I mean this is that's significant I mean best is is still that 954 one notch down brings it more than half um, well let's let's see what that does so we'll compare this to Dracula 2. You know what? I'm impressed. I, I still don't see a difference. I still don't see a difference. And we just such a significant reduction. Um, awesome. That's way cool. Actually, I didn't even plan this out before I did the video. I'm just... I'm pleasantly surprised at how good that is. Um, you know what? Let me run it through the optimizer one more time. And now, how far do we reduce this bad boy? Three, 330 kilobytes. Dude, we're doing a good job over here. Okay, let me now pop Dracula in my Notflix UX folder. I need to update my index.html now to have the because um, the Dracula Untold is no longer a PNG, it's a JPEG, JPG. So here we go. Now let's see what that's going to look like. Uh, oh, geez, my phone is ringing over here. Pardon me. Um, 
Okay, so that is good. Um, let me see. So now I'm just going to compare my images here. So my new Im optimized images is 6.1 megabytes versus my old one, which was 8.1 megabytes, two megabyte savings. Incredible. Uh, that's very good. That's very good. Let's give it a refresh. Let's see what it looks like as well. Um, not this index. Yeah, this index in the UX. Um, let's see. So let's see what Dracula. Oops. Let's see what Dracula looks like. Dracula looks great. And um, so let's go another go. Perfect.